All right, just waiting for people to show up. Hello, my friends. So, nobody's here, so we're just going to start anyways, and what we're going to do today, I've, all right guys, how you doing? Uh, so, Money Mitch, what's up? Hello my friend, uh, good to see ya. Hello, hello, Sean. Rabbi Dad, good to see you. Uh, today, you know, um, you know, I'm feeling pretty good after my injury, guys. You know, Matthew, what's up? Stay sucker free, everyone. Greetings. All right. So, you know, I've had that experience with getting hit by the power lines a month ago. And, um, you know, I'm making a lot of progress and it got me to really think about beginning workouts and, you know, what got me to be that in prison, you know, so, um, and, and what got me going in prison, uh, was, uh, being locked up in a cell for 11 months while I fought my case. So there really wasn't much for me to do but push-ups and body squats and, you know, crawling back and forth on the floor. So that was my beginning. And um, I thought, s since I just, I'm recovering from this accident, that we would do the beginning over again. And we'd work my way through the advanced stages that I, um, came across, but we'll start off in the beginning where I just did the push-ups and squats every day because what's up, my friends? Um, we're going to do it every day because 390, 400 push-ups now in my elite state, if there was like five of us standing around on the yard and my tip-top shape, we'd just be like, all right, let's just do a thousand push-ups. And all of us would get it done within a half hour. And uh, that's just the kind of fitness level and mindset that we could just do that anytime. So in my mind, this 390 is the beginning level. And uh, this is what we're going to do over and over again until we can advance. My friends, hello everyone. <laughs> hello, my friend. Thank you. My greetings, greetings. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna copy my uh, my routine. Thank you for the support, my friend. All right, so we're gonna copy my routine like I did, and we're gonna start by doing these every day. And I'm going to do it at 5 a.m. every day, Eastern Central. I'm just going to run through a deck of cards because that was my beginning. And uh, we're going to go from there. And we're going to advance and progress. And I'm going to show you guys what I did uh, to, to get that physique in prison. And um, on the minimum food, because they don't feed you in prison, all right? This is done on hot... On, Mostly a carb diet. and uh, But the consistency of it was the important part. It was done on a consistent basis, same time every day. Just like my workout, it was done same time every day. So from now on, 5 a.m., we're doing a deck of cards. All right? So 
we're just gonna start. All right, guys, my friends, my friends, Jacob Berry. Jacob, I hope you do some push ups and body squats right now. I appreciate your support. All right, so I'm gonna take this kind of slow and easy pace. We don't wanna let our breathing get out of control and we wanna focus on pushing out and slightly up, okay? Out and slightly up. All right, but we're gonna stay in the half rep range, keeping the tension on one muscle group rather than the next, pass it in along to the next group, keep building up the pump, building up the pump without passing the job on to the next muscle groups. So here we go. Let's just start, right? All right. So we're gonna do this every day at 5 a.m., all right? Just because we should be able to knock this out at any time of day, regardless of what our normal workout is. So this is gonna be the level one that we're all gonna work to, okay? So let's go. And we're gonna do this as a beginner phase, and we're gonna do that on a elevated surface because the push-ups are a lot easier when it's raised. So this is gonna be a beginner set. All right, here we go. Enough said. All right, we're all gonna get Freaking strong as heck, I'm telling you. The first two months of doing this is when I, I saw the most development, just like right before my eyes. Here we go, ready? Queen, queens, aces, and jokers. They're all gonna be high cards. All the face cards are gonna be, that's gonna bring us to uh, 390. All right, let's roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pop up, focus on that pop up, because that's going to be helpful when we get into the burpees. All right? Ten. One, two. All right, great. See what we got, three, all right, here we go, three, nice and easy, control your breathing. One, two, three, pop up, one, two, three, good job, all right. Nine, here we go, ready? That'll be 10. Great job, everyone. Yeah, these, uh, these half reps really create a pump without passing the job along to the next, as in a full range push-up. It just keeps all the tension right there. And uh, the development is, is, is huge. Control your breathing. Let's do four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. Jack, 
That'll be tens. Ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pop up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heck yeah. All right, we got a 10. Ready? Control your breathing. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, boy. Those half reps will get you. <sighs> Greetings, my friend. <sighs> hey, thank you. I appreciate your support, everyone. Uh, talking about half reps. Yeah, the half reps keep the, the tension on one muscle group and it keeps increasing the pump. It has nowhere to go, it just gets bigger and bigger. And then once you do a full range of motion pump, the pump is released. This makes your growth just, it, it just happens like that. Um, it's a prison thing. Uh, I'm doing three, ready? Let's go. And, and we can make this harder by squeezing the chair as we're doing it, right? So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Ready? Oh, getting ahead of myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, just just all this really getting me thinking of how, because when I was that strong, I was able to do a thousand push-ups at any time of day, just like, hey, let's go, boom, get it done in 20 minutes. I want to get back there. I'm inspired to get back there, and I want to show you guys, bring you guys along with me. We could all do this, right? Five. Appreciate your uh, support. He's been doing it since we brought him up. He's getting good results. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, this, this, this keeping up your heart rate activity. This is fantastic, right? Just last December, I was, you know, I quit drinking and I lost fifty-five pounds with this sort of kind of cardio, you know. Um, you know, it just came off me. You know, you just got to keep moving. All right, two. Ready? One, two. One, two. Nice and easy. We're just taking it a nice slow pace because I want to do this every day. And one thing to point out, in prison, everybody... The topic of soreness, like you can't make it down to the chow hall without hearing some guy complaining about how sore they are. Because when you're doing this, you are sore all the time. And that being said, that being said, right? This is very important. It's like, I call it hell week, all right? Pardon my French, but it's like, 
getting used to jogging. The first week of jogging is just hell week. You're just like throwing up, like, how can I do this? How can I push forward? You know, like, can't breathe nothing. All right. And then all of a sudden you can, and you can do it. And then it's just a walk through the park. That's getting over the hell week. And that's what this is, right? We got to do this for, for like a month, right? Every freaking day. And we got to get over that hump until this becomes a habit where you can do this at any time of day, right? So that's our goal. That's our first goal. Let's go. Number two. All right. One, two. One, two. All right, here we go. King, that'll be 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, doing great, everybody. You are doing 10. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Yes. That's, oh my goodness. <laughs> Doing 10 again. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're just we're just planning on being sore forever now. It's just a part of who we are. Because we're just gonna do this every day. Ten. Here we go. We are doing zero reps. I'm sorry. Yes, that is the goal of this. We are doing half reps because in a full range of motion rep, my friend, the pump that's built up in a half rep is released. I don't want that. I want to build the pump up. And that's what gives me my size and shape. It's the half reps. All right, you wanna see somebody doing it who's famous? What's that guy? Sam Salk, right? Or Ronnie Coleman, they're all doing it. That's all they do. My friends, my friends. <sighs> Thank you for the support, Lady Bird. Seven, let's go. You know what? I was doing better with less. The less I have, the better that I can do physically. I don't need nothing but me. Seven. see you all here with your support. I appreciate you. Uh, 
Let's see, we got eight. Just control your breathing. Focus on pushing out and slightly up and keeping the tension on one muscle group rather than passing it along in the full range of motion, all right? You will see greater results in less than amount of time. All right, here we go. Did I grab a card? If I did, we're doing eight, okay? It doesn't hurt to do extra. See, this is a nice easy workout, right? We're just going through the motions. And you know what, those of you who've been following along, who are already sore, it's, you're gonna be sore until you do the workout again. Until then, you're just gonna be sore. It's the lactic acid that's gonna build up, and that's the soreness. You're gonna feel that until you go through the motions again. And if you're not gonna do the workout, you at least got to do one light set to break up that acid. You'll feel so much better, I'm telling you. A B, trying uh, for, for lower chest, you wanna do uh, uh, dips. You know, even if you have a couple chairs or elevated, you know, that gets the lower pectorials, just like even, even like this, you know, that's good for, he had a question. All right, here we go, eight again. Let's go, nice slow pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, everyone, great job. We got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good pace, good pace. Let's see, where are we at? Nine. All right, nine easy ones. Take it, take it. Take it nice and easy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, everyone. Two. Let's go. One, two. One, two. Good job, everyone. Good job. Here we go. We're gonna do 10 here, all right? Nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, great. <laughs> we got 10 going on, 10. All right, hey, I just wanted to show you the deck of the cards, right? It's a visual, okay? I see what I have done and it's very inspiring to me to see how far I've come along, right? So the deck of cards is a good tool for that in itself, you know, to give you motivation to, to push through. 10.
And I get a lot of questions about why I work out in boots, right? Well, they're like, it's like armor for my feet and my toes, especially when I'm doing those ballistic burpees. And uh, it allows me to do more, having that extra protection around my toes. All right, let's see what we got going on, right? All right. All right, we got seven. Let's get it. You know, I really feel like this exercise is like a good prime before getting into burpees, you know, like heavy duty, like I am with the ballistics. I think this exercise back and forth like this primes you for that. And uh, that's a lot of fun in itself. Six. And, you know, just for an example, if you haven't seen the burpees before, you know. It's pretty much the same motion, but done more fluently. You know. But... Uh, this workout will definitely prep you to do that. Okay, back on subject. 10. Ten. Ten. Great job, everyone. Great job. Control your breathing. It's always where I fail. I let my breathing run away from me, you know what I mean? Here we go. Eight. Sweating now. Oh, jeez. All right. All right, so when do I do my workouts? Uh, all right, so I used to do it twice a day in the joint. And that's how I became... the biggest and strongest that I ever was. I did my morning workout, and then I did my evening workout. And it was all calisthenics, 
And um, I'm telling you, you can build muscle with calisthenics. And um, now that I'm restarting this over again, my journey, that I already knew that I've been there before, that I, I know I can get back there again. So I want to bring you along with me. So how I started out, started out in the cell just doing push-ups and body squats. I did it for months. We don't have to do that for months, but we're going to do it for a month every day. All right, because that's how I started. And here we go. This is a nice, easy pace. Because the goal is, the goal is to be able to, at your most elite, to be able to drop down and do a thousand within 20 minutes. That's, that's the goal, all right? But these are the baby steps to get you there. And here's the next one, 10. Now there's a motive behind the madness of doing the legs and the chest. Same, same day. It's like the legs are your biggest muscles in your body, so the testosterone released from that affects the overall body. Plus, if I'm working out, say doing push-ups, these muscles will get affected just by the growth release of the legs. That's just what we always thought in the joint. So we we did legs with everything. No, I am not on steroids. This is my prison photo of when I was my strongest. And that was on a, a terrible prison diet of carbs with very little protein. So everything that they've said about you needing a gram of protein per body weight, that was not my case or any of the other inmates or convicts that I, I uh, worked out with because they didn't feed us, all right? Nothing but carbs. And yet we were still able to make gains with push-ups. Let's see. Sport with shout out. All right, sorry guys. I don't have my glasses on. I can barely see anything. King, I need somebody to read these for me. We're doing 10. See that cut coming in? That's, that's just from the low end. Nine. Nice easy pace, control your breathing. go five for those of you following along we are making progress these are a lot of cards we are whittling down the deck. Six. <clears throat> I 
Good job, everyone. Ten. All right. Now, there's more to push-ups than just doing a push-up. There's so much little finesse that goes in to achieving huge goals or not, all right? Little things, little things like pushing out and up like that or squeezing the mat together, right? Squeezing the mat together while you go through the push-up, that's like an advanced method. That's later down the road, but that is the most ridiculous pump I've ever had, where you squeeze a mat inward while you do this. But anyways, that's why the half rep is so important because it creates such a pump where you notice it, you feel it with your mind, you make that connection. And it's so much easier to, to control those, you know, pathways. Um, Cause you feel it. You get down and do a set, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It only takes one set of these half reps and you'll feel the difference, all right? Six. Great job, everybody. You're doing great. Two. One, two. One, two. Now, again, with hand placement, if I, if I rotate my hands this way, I'm gonna get more of my bicep, you know, like this. Let's see, I'll just, I'll just show you. Nine, right? Lean forward, like I'm doing plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I can make that harder by leaning even further, you know? I don't wanna bar bombard you with too much information at once. But here's four, you're doing great, keep it up. Great job, everyone. The Joker, that'll be 10. Yes, we are whittling down the pile. It is getting there. Let's see. Eight. Let's go. Boy, that half rep just keeps attention on one muscle group without passing it along to the next. You feel it, make that connection to the, the muscles and flex them throughout the pump. Your gains will be increased dramatically, I'm telling you. All right, wait, where was I? Eight, I gotta do body squats. Let's go. One. Here we go, here we go. 10. Yeah. 
Good stuff. We're going to get through this. This is going to be our normal. We're going to be able to do this at any time, any day. Joker. Let's go. Ten. Way to go, guys. Look at this pile. Killing it. Great job. Look at this. Not much to go now. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doing great, everybody who's keeping up. If you didn't come this far, you yeah, had to quit. You still did great. It's all progress. I want you to keep focused and be positive about everything you do. If, if you didn't get there, just say, I am in the process of getting there. And this is just the road I'm on, right? This is where I'm at, but I'm getting there. I'm in the process of, don't ever talk bad about yourself. Don't ever say, oh, I can't do this. No, it's, I am in the process of doing this. This is what we're doing. I'm in the process of it. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, here we are, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys are doing great. I could see, I could see a light at the end of this tunnel. How much is there? There ain't much, right? Let's do this. All right. Ten. Doing ten. Great job. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. King. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Five. You're doing great. You're almost there. Two more. Great job. What are we what is it? Oh, five again. Alright. Good job everyone. Last card. Here it comes. What is it, huh? I hope it's a big one. That's seven. Finish strong. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, great job, everyone. That was fantastic. Let's see. 
That was 45 minutes. So yeah, we did that in a nice slow pace. And um, that, was, that was perfect, okay? We gotta get used to this. And then we gotta pick the pace up. We gotta get through this deck in half the time, okay? So these are our goals moving forward, okay? So these are day one beginners. We got to accomplish this level before moving on to the next. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Eastern Central Time because I'm going to do this every day for about a month before I bring it up to the next level. Yes, there'll be other things I incorporate because I'll probably be ending up doing it just like I did in prison with two workouts a day. And um, the goal is to get back at my strongest self where I was able to do a thousand at any given point within 20 minutes. And uh, I'm just taking you along that journey of how I started and how I got to that point. So this will be fun. Thanks for joining me and I will see you at 5 a.m. Peace.